Of course it is. That's my honest response to anybody asking me the question, is it worth studying in Massachusetts? With a rich heritage and, and a culture of innovation, plus a booming economy, it's no wonder Massachusetts recruits and attracts some of the brightest minds for both the professional and the academic. So let's find out what makes Massachusetts such a wonderful place. So let's start with that rich history I just mentioned. Just so you guys know, it has some of the first high schools uh, and elementary schools in the country. On top of that, Harvard University is located in Massachusetts and it's considered to be the oldest university higher education institution in the United States. In fact, it was founded in 1636. Let that sink in because yes, Harvard University was around back then. But is it just known because it has Harvard? Well, definitely not. There are plenty of other higher education institutions that offer wonderful and amazing prestigious programs and ranking. For example, you have the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, better known as MIT, offering some of the best programs in technology, science, uh, even their law school is very well known. So those are the two per perhaps the best you know, well-known institutions in Massachusetts. But then you have a whole long list of other programs, other institutions, other universities that will definitely knock, off, knock you off your feet. Those will include Boston University, Babson College, Tufts University, Boston College, Berkeley School of Music, Northeastern, and obviously the University of Massachusetts Amherst, all of which offer tremendous programs, tremendous rank, and just a reputation for excellence. And thanks to all these major universities and wonderful programs, the economy is booming. It creates a hotbed of ac economic growth uh, and innovation year after year. To further this point of higher education and the higher ranked institutions, it's often, often referenced that when you join these schools, specifically in the state of Massachusetts, you're going to be joining a social network that is going to have huge impacts on your career prospects. You are going to be joined by like-minded people uh, and in innovation, entrepreneurial mindset are key to this, to this mindset. So keep that in mind when you join these higher institutions, you're joining a group of people that have the same ideas, the same goals of success and greatness as you do. Now, when it comes to the cost of living, we do have to say that Boston overall and Massachusetts as a state do sit above the national average when it comes to cost of life. So you will expect to find higher costs of attendance overall when you compare it to other states that perhaps have lower uh, cost of life. For example, the state of Alabama, which you can check out right there. Having said that, a lot of these universities will offer on-campus housing and they try to make that as affordable as possible. In other, in other words, to bring down your costs, to bring down your expenses by staying on campus, on campus and eating from their meal plan. So naturally, in the state of Massachusetts and a lot of these institutions that are in the state limits, it's very important with the topic of scholarships to bring that cost of attendance down to perhaps the national average or the average of a neighboring state where those students are coming from. And that's no exception with international students. Massachusetts and most of the universities there will have a strong reputation for having big scholarship amounts to try to lower the cost of attendance as much as possible. Now to further with this trend of trying to lower costs, Massachusetts is also very well known for their reliance on scholarships for their students. Both out of state and international students alike can benefit from this perhaps larger than average pool of scholarships and availability. That's why you can definitely apply for uh, academic scholarships or competitive scholarships based on your scores, need-based scholarships, oftentimes you can apply for both, research uh, grants, um, work on campus opportunities. There's going to be a nice wealth of opportunities. And in most cases, you can apply to more than one in order to bring those costs of attendance down further, further and further. Now, when you look at your own career prospects, just keep in mind that back in 2017, Massachusetts was ranked as number one state in the nation overall 
So you're going to have tremendous career opportunities. You know, the quality of life is going to be significantly better than other states. Um, your access to entertainment, healthcare, uh, all these different items is going to be present in order you know, to fulfill that number one ranking. And even though it's in 2017, that thriving economy is still present in today's economy. Now, another thing to point out with Massachusetts in particular is its ability to diversify its own economy. It was ranked 16th as best state for innovation. 40% of its employees are currently working in a STEM designated field. Keep in mind that STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, or math. So it puts a lot of emphasis on the, uh, the industry or the science connected to industry innovation and research. Uh, and it just goes to show how you can diversify uh, uh, you know, an economy and keep that innovation growing and building off of it from the fantastic institutions that are neighboring those cities or limits. So if you're one of those students that are looking into a STEM designated program, keep Massachusetts in mind. In particular, look at cities such as Boston, Cambridge or Springfield, because those might allow for great and fantastic OPT opportunities upon the completion of your program. Now, going back to that idea of a strong culture, you're also going to find that very, very present. And I'm going to use Boston as an example. It is a smaller state, so you don't have a presence of that many large cities. But going off of Boston, you can see just how, uh, for example, how large it is because it is considered a major city. But it still has that uh, quintessential atmosphere to it. It has that picturesque city to it, that close-knit community vibe. Uh, that is going to give you amazing opportunities to connect with the locals, but also participate in huge festivities, parties, and celebrations, such as uh, St. Patrick's Day. Located on that northeastern front, you also can benefit from the fantastic connections to other major cities of the area. That could be New York, could be Philadelphia, Washington, D.C., or even Chicago further northwest. When it comes to the natural scene, you're also going to be rewarded with fantastic places to visit, such as Martha's Vineyard, for example, or Cape Cod uh, Seashore, or even the Mohawk Trail, all of which are going to reward your eyesight and your vision and those landscape uh, picturesque views that only Massachusetts knows how to reward its visitors. Now, a quick cautious message for uh, those viewers that don't like harsh winters, you can expect to have all four seasons in the state of Massachusetts. Location-wise, it is, as I referenced earlier, in the northeastern side. So you can expect to have some snowfalls over the winter. You can have darker and colder winters than perhaps more southern states, for example, the state of Arizona. So just be aware of that. And also, depending on where you are within the state limit, if you are closer to the ocean front, you might have those uh, cold winds coming off the Atlantic. So it just depends on where you're located, but keep that in mind. You will be rewarded though with beautiful falls, wonderful springs, and hot summers, even though they can fall on the humidity side, in the humidity spectrum, they can fall on the higher side for that. But just be aware, the, the, the weather does have four seasons, uh, which in my opinion is great. I do benefit, I do enjoy a good, you know, cold winter, but those that want to go to warmer temperatures, warmer states, just keep that in mind. So overall, as a place of study, you're going to, doesn't matter where you go, you're going to be rewarded with fantastic institutions. You have some of the best uh, universities in the world located in this smaller state. So that quality is going to uh, permeate into many other institutions. So just do a good job at researching what program you want, what school might offer that program or might be better known for that program and try to look into uh, those budget constraints if you have any, look into the programs, look into the scholarships because there's plenty of information in that small state of Massachusetts and it's a wonderful state for any international student that wants to study their major there. Now, if you've liked any of this information, you want to have more of it, you want to figure out how to make it possible to go to Massachusetts yourself, then please click the link of this description. On that description, 
you're going to find a link that will take you to an online form. If you fill out that form, you're going to have a free consultation with an ePro360 expert. And on that call, we can better assess your profile, what's necessary, what's needed, and how to get you to the US to start your major or your master's in Massachusetts. If you've liked this content as well, then please don't forget to like this video, smash the subscribe button, activate the notifications, and that way any new content we create, you'll be personally notified, and that way you can watch it first. Until then, thank you very much.